Hi students, <clears throat> uh, this is a question uh, of ratio analysis that was asked in uh, March, June 2018. I will quickly go through the question and show you how to calculate the uh, certain ratios. Now read the question, below are extracts from statements of p and L for Perkins Group and Perkins Company for the year ending 31st December 20X7 and 20x7 respectively so x7 as well as x6 is given x7 they have given the consolidated figures and x6 they have given perkins companies individual revenue cost of sales gross profit operating expenses profit before from operations finance cost and profit before taxation they have given a following information as well as they given in the year ended 31st december x7 Swanson company had the following results during the period from 1st January X7 to 1st September X7 Perkins sold 1 million of goods to Swanson company at a margin of 30 percentage now just go through the last part of the question question number B required remove results of Swanson company and gain on disposal of subsidiary to prepare a revised statement of P&L for the year ended 31st December X7 of Perkins company only so now I advise students to read the questions carefully full questions carefully then listen to this video then you will understand how to uh, recalculate the profit and loss account item now they have given a few information following information is relevant on 1st September X7 P company sold all of its shares in Swanson company that's it and they are also given the point that although Sanson company was currently currently accounted for in the group financial statement again on disposal of Swanson company of 9444 million is currently included in operating expenses these are the crux of the question you have to remember so now what they have given is that they have asked the question required you are required to calculate operations or prepare the profit and loss account of Perkins company only so I'm showing how to prepare adjusted profit and loss account of Perkins only that means from this Perkins this consolidated figures you have to remove whatever results of Swanson company now when you read the question again below are extract from statement of p and l for perkins group and perkins company for the year ended 31st december x7 so the financial year end is 31st december x7 and if you go down again they have seen in the year ended 31st december x7 swanson company had the following result so this swanson company's following result is for an entire period of 12 months if you read the following information on 1st september x7 p company sold all of its shares in s company so from january to september now even though this is given in the year ended 31st december x7 p company has sold all of the shares in 1st september x7 that means from p company's financial statement you have to remove s company's operation results from january to 1st september that means january february march april may june july august don't take september because it's 1st september so you have to remove eight months results of subsidiary company so how will you prepare adjusted perkins and only from 46 to 20 consolidated figures you have to remove 13,500 of subsidiary but you don't have to remove the entire year because you sold the subsidiary on September so you have to remove eight months result plus now this is consolidated figures you have to prepare P companies only now when you say P companies only the question states that there is an Indra group company transaction here during the period from 1st January to 1st September P company sold 1 million of goods to subsidiary at a margin of 30 
subsidiary company had sold now full stop now remember this thing in consolidation now this figure given in 20x7 is consolidation now you remember in consolidation indra group sales should be eliminated so this 46 220 is after eliminating 1 million of indra group sales to subsidiary because in consolidation all indra group sales and purchase should be eliminated so this consolidated figure of 46220 is excluding indra group figure now read the question b very carefully they have asked you to prepare consolidated adjusted sorry they have asked you to prepare adjusted figures of perkinsons only so perkinsons you have to show the sales that has done by perkinsons so when they say you have to prepare perkinsons only you have to from the consolidated figure you have to remove from consolidated figure of 46 to 20 this is parent plus subsidiary you have to remove subsidiary but when you remove subsidiary subsidiary figure is 13500 it is for an entire 12 months but the subsidiary has been sold on 1st september x7 so i have to remove eight months figures plus you have to add back the thousand indra group sales now similarly how will you calculate cost of sales i have shown this working in the google classroom so i'm just showing how to calculate how you have to arrive at the workings adjusted of p company adjusted figures of p adjusted figures of p only so consolidated 23980 minus cost of sales it is given here 6600 multiplied by only 8 by 12 have to be considered operating expense similarly from 3300 minus operating expenses 2.51 2.51 multiplied by 8 by 12 now read this thing very carefully in this part again on disposal of samsung company 9.44 million is included in operating expense read this paragraph again in order to compare piece result for the year ended x6 and x7 result of sanson need to be eliminated from the above consolidated statement of pnl although sanson company was currently accounted correctly accounted for in the group financial statement for the year ended 31st december x7 again on disposal of samson company is currently included in op operating expenses so 9 point this operating expenses include 9.44 gain so when you're recording gain in operating expense use your common sense a bit when you're recording operating uh, when you're recording gain in operating expenses your operating expenses falls down now this is again a gain on subsidiary so you have to remove subsidiaries company gain so plus 9444 now operating expenses is over so you will get profit from operations i'll quickly do this finance cost part finance cost is 960 minus finance cost of subsidiary is 1.20 1.20 into 8 by 12 that's it